hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft video. This is Mythical Sausage. How is everybody doing? Oh man, I'm doing great. Hopefully you guys are doing amazing because today we're going to be doing this awesome Minecraft 1.16 fantasy starter house now this starter house is so cool has everything you need to survive in minecraft and i'm going to show you how to build this thing right now block for block let's go all right and here we go with the block palette so we're going to be using some oak logs some stripped oak some oak planks oak stairs also some stripped spruce logs so spruce planks stairs slabs the trap doors bringing some stone brick stone brick stairs some campfire blocks and also the brand new warp blocks we're using the stripped and also the plank and stair combo and here are the dimensions. Count out the blocks is all laid out in wool for you. Find yourself a nice spot and let's start building. And we're going to start right here on this corner with our oak log. And we're going to take these main structure blocks up by five. So let's go right here on this corner. Let's go up one, two, three, four, and five. Give it a space of one and two right here. Going up by five. Give it a space of one. Up by five here. Going to give it a space of one, two, and three. Take this one up as well go in by one and we're going to mirror pretty much what we did right there and then keep it going so another one and two and three right in this corner up by five take it in by one and then from here we're going to count one two three and in this corner up by five as well space of three again up by five space of one two three four and then take it in by one also up by five pretty much mirroring what we did on that side and we're going to continue over here so one and two up by five Space of one, up by five here. Space of three, up by five. Space of one, up again by five. And then ma uh, matching that side, one and two, and then up by five. Now in front of every one of these beams, we're gonna be placing more beams, but just one. One in every corner right next to this side. And then go ahead and match this all the way around. We have it all placed in walls. So we're just putting one extra log down as an extra bit of foundation. So this goes all the way around like so. From the top, should look like this then on top of every one of these logs we just placed we're going to be placing some of our spruce stairs right on top of it all the way around and then from there we're going to be grabbing our spruce fences and let's place these right on top of every one of these stairs then from here we're going to be grabbing our logs and we're going to pop them outwards on top of every one of these fences now from here we're going to go ahead and work on our front door let's just go up with regular planks for now and we're going to be adding our strip later on for texturing so we're going to go up by four so one two three and four on each side Let's put an upside down stair on the third one. So one, two, and three, upside down right here. Leave that one open for a little window here and we're just gonna cross beam on the top just like this. Then we're gonna pretty much simply just do cross beams right at the top level, matching exactly what we did there. So let's go all the way around right up top, just like this, matching these over here on this side and just connect everything together. So this is gonna go all the way down to right at this level and then we're gonna cross right here on this section just to match the cross we have over there and then let's keep it going we're going to cross beam everything going down just like so so it should look like this from the top so now that all of our cross beams are in place let's continue with this theme of just covering everything up with oak and there we go we got everything covered up with oak all the way around and now all we got to do is do a little bit of texturing so before we add any windows or any other details i'm just going to come in here and just randomly scatter just some of our stripped oak just like this just in random spots it could be any way you want or you can just skip this part if you'd like but i kind of like the way this looks with the texture and there we go it should look like this in the end with the added texturing like that now next thing we're going to do is let's add some windows so i'm going to do two windows here let's knock these two let's knock these two out i'm going to put an upside down stair on each one of those like so take these two out and put upside down stairs like this jumping back on this side i'm going to do another window let's do a single window right there the same style we have on the other side just like so and then we're going to jump over here on this side to do the same window style so upside down stairs uh over here and on that side now let's start working on the roof i'm going to start on this edge right here with our spruce stairs and take them down just like so overhanging this bit i'm going to go with an upside down stair on this side here we're going to go with two full blocks of our spruce stair on top upside down stair full block stair on top upside down stair full block and a stair on top just like so then from here, I'm just going to go with an upside down stair on this section and a stair facing this way. Now let's repeat that over here. So we're going to go right from this edge, make sure that's overhanging, upside down stair, two full blocks right here, stair forward, upside down, full block on top, stair facing forward, upside down stair, full block and a stair. So we have this cool roof right here. Then next up, let's go ahead and take this all the way down and curve it and then make sure this side is overhanging as well. 
Then we're going to do pretty much this similar style, just a little bit of a smaller scale. So we're going to go with an upside down stair. We're going to go with a full block times two. Stair on top, upside down stair, full block, stair, upside down stair here, and a stair facing this way. And then just repeat this side. So let's go ahead and make sure that overhangs that way. Go all the way around and overhang here. And then just repeat this. So we're going to go with an upside down stair, two full blocks, stair forward, upside down, full block, and a stair forward, just like this. Now let's go ahead and start over here again on this side. We're going to go with an upside down stair here. This one really doesn't matter. It's going to get covered up, but we can put anything there. Now I'm going to go with two full blocks matching that side. Stair forward, upside down, full block, stair forward, upside down, full block, and a stair forward. And this should end with an upside down and a stair facing this way. Now matching exactly what we did over there. We can go ahead and start from here. So let's go with our stairs. Make sure we can wrap it around right to this section. Then let's go ahead and do it again. So upside down stair, two full blocks, stair forward, upside down, full block, stair forward, upside down, full block, stair forward. So that's matching perfectly over there. And then last but not least, do exactly what we did over there. Let's do it together though. Just make sure these stairs wrap all the way around and then overhang both sides. Going with upside down stairs on both, full block, full block, stair forward, another one forward, two upside downs, two full blocks, stair forward, another one forward, upside down, and a stair facing this way. So we got all this laid out perfectly. Now we got one more to go. Let's do this small one. So from here, we're just going to go with upside downs going all the way down and then pop that overhanging that bit. Same thing over here. And this is similar to the side one. So upside down stairs on both, full block times two, stair forward, another one forward, upside downs, full blocks, stair forward, another one forward, upside down and a stair facing this way. So now we have this foundation in place. Now from here, I'm going to be using the warp blocks, but you don't have to use this part. If you don't have them available, you can really use anything on the inside. Cool blocks that I suggest would be either granite, bricks will look good, dark oak looks pretty awesome, even just oak all the way around. But for right now, I'm just going to be using a mix of these blocks here. To make it easy, we're just going to do it with warp planks for now and then add a bunch of little things after. For right here, we're just going to connect these sections together. So let's go right here. So one, and two and three. So go up by three all the way to this edge and then just connect them right here. So from stair to stair over here, I'm just going to go all the way down right here with our uh, doubles going all the way to here. But then this section, I'm just going to go with a single one connecting here. And then this goes all the way down and then connect to that side. Now let's just mirror this over here. So we're going all the way around with full blocks all the way around again. And then one more time right here. Then it's going to go one, two, and three, and that should stop right on this corner and then just connect that area right there. Then from here, I'm going to go one more. Just go one level up right here on this section. So stop right there. Then next bit, I'm going to bring in our spruce planks and let's take this from here. So one, two, and three. And then right on this top, let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So this stops right at this section. Now from here, let's just repeat this on the other side. And there you go. This side is mirrored to the other. Now we're going to detail this even more, but let's finish off this roof for now. We're going to go down with our warped again right here. One, two, three, and four. Four on this side. Get rid of this bit and let's go down by four as well. So four here, here, and then on this top bit, get rid of that. Take it down by four. Here, just down by one, matching that side. So one, two, three, and four. And then right in the center bit, we're going to grab our planks and go down one, two, three, and four, stopping right here. Now jumping back on this side, let's go ahead and give this a little bit more detail. So one thing I want to do is on the top here, I'm going to add a couple slabs. Let's go with one and two slabs here, one and two slabs here. Then I'm going to go ahead and bring a trap door, put one on this corner, one on this corner, and then right here, I'm going to dip these down. So let's take these three out and let's put slabs one, two, and three. So it should look like this from the top. Also, we can add a little extra detail here by putting a slab, a trap door, and then over here on this corner, let's bring a stair and a trap door on top. You can face it really any direction, this side or that side. That side looks a little bit better. Let's actually match that over here too. Then over here on this side, let's do the same thing. We're going to put a slab, but then I'm going to just put one trap door just like that. Then let's repeat this over here on this side. Now in the center here, actually, I want to elevate this one more by putting this into a full block so we get that cool look just like so. Then let's go ahead and do some more details over here. Let's get rid of these corner bits. I'm going to be putting stairs instead. This one as well. Here I'm going to be putting a slab on top. So again, let's go stair here, stair here, stair on this side. Let's 
put a slab on this corner for this side we're going to go ahead and get rid of that let's put a stair like so then let's just mirror this on the other side and there you go it should look like this on this end now we can detail this even more by adding some texturing of our stripped warp block so we can come in here and randomly scatter some of these in random spots it doesn't have to be really in any specific location but we can go ahead and add this all the way around and there you go we got that looking really really awesome now next up let's start filling in these sections here so for this area right here really super simple let's just grab slabs i'm gonna put a slab right here on this section one on top and then one underneath then up here we're gonna cover this up let's actually do this all out of stripped spruce all the way up top to bottom just like so and then we're going to add a small window here so we're going to actually get rid of these two let's put a stair on the bottom and a stair on the top just like this then jumping back over here same thing we're going to go again with our slab here slab on top slab in this section and then repeat what we did on the other side just like this now jumping to the back area over here we're going to pretty much do the same thing so let's cover this whole thing right now in our stripped spruce and then we're going to come down here on this side and we're going to be putting some slabs every other one trap doors in those gaps let's knock down right here in the middle one two and three and we're going to be putting another one four let's put an upside down stair right on this section a stair right here upside down as well on that section last but not least we got this back part over here same thing we did on the other ones we're going to go with a slab here one on top one on the other side and match that side as well and now for these windows i'm going to use white glass and i'm going to go ahead and put an oak trap door on the side let's put a fence gate in this section right where that stair is at and then i'm going to put a campfire block and extinguish that to get that cool look i'm going to add that all the way around as well and then also for the larger one i'm going to do the same thing just like this for these two windows down here i'm going to go with the fence gate at the window section and then i'm going to be putting those campfires on top extinguish those two and then trap doors on the corner bits like that and then for the back one over here same thing but just on a smaller scale we're going to be putting our campfire on top extinguish that put our gate on the side and our trap door over here on this section and then one more over here on this side then down here at the bottom we're going to be putting buttons on every one of these exposed logs i'm going to go with a spruce button but you can go with really any one of the buttons now one of the last bits of details i'm going to be popping up a fireplace from here you don't have to add this part but it does make it look a little bit cooler so i'm just going to go down from here and take this all the way up with stone bricks so one two three four let's take these two out five i'm going to put two stairs right here then I'm gonna knock these bits out, and then let's go up from here. So it's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I'm gonna stop right here. I'm gonna be putting two campfires on top and then cover up this section. I'm gonna be using some oak trap doors this time. Now, if you want, you can also come back and texture this. I'm just gonna add a little bit of stone, just randomly scattered around like so, and maybe a little bit of cobble, just in random spots going up just like that and then maybe at the top we can grab a stair what if we twist this one so it's a little bit better that looks kind of cool maybe one more let's do one right about there yeah that looks awesome now one small thing on the inside here we got to cover up this section of the wall so we're pretty much just going to mirror this side but without putting that window so really super simple just with our stripped spruce top to bottom covers this whole section up now since we're ready on the inside let me go ahead and show you guys how to set this up first thing i'm just going to replace the floor with some spruce but you can add really any flooring for this section now from here let's work on the interior i want to step up to the second floor so i'm going to start right from here with some spruce stairs let's go down one and two i'm going to put a slab on that corner then let's put another placeholder slab here i'm going to put a stair on top i can get rid of that let's put another stair here one more on top and then up here on this section, I'm gonna go ahead and just put a full block like this. Now we need a railing up, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some logs here. One, two, three, four, and five. Cross beam on this section. Let's go with another log matching that one right there. And then up here, I'm just gonna go with some planks. Let's go with one and two. Here, I'm gonna put a placeholder block. Let's put a log facing, oh, a log of oak facing downwards. Let's go ahead and put one more. And then right here on this section, I'm just gonna go with two planks, one and two, just like this. Then let's continue with this cross beam going down one, two, and three on that side. Then from here, I'm gonna lift these up. So let's go up one more on every one of the logs here. I'm gonna go with a fence on this side, fence on this side, and then on top of these, I'm just gonna go ahead and put some slabs just like so. And then we have a nice railing to get up to this section. Now from here, let's go ahead and do some more cross beams. So I'm gonna beam right up the middle here. Let's beam every other one going down like so, and then another one going down this way. And then from here, let's grab some slabs, but this time let's go with some oak slabs. And I'm just going to go ahead and cover up these gaps. And it should look like this. Now, another thing I want to do is let's knock down a door right here on this section. I'm going to put an upside down stair here. 
and then let's continue with this theme. Just put another cross beam on this side. Let's put some more slabs in those gaps. Then we have a small room right here on this side. Jumping back to the bottom, let's go ahead and cover this part up as well. I'm just gonna go up with our oak on all of these sides and pretty much match that front door and have a small side room here. And then we can go ahead and just texture a little bit by adding some of the strip just in random spots. Now from the inside of this room, I'm just gonna cover this bit up right here with some full blocks and we should have a nice little spot here and you can use this pretty much for anything. Now jumping back over here, we can actually knock down this section and we can have our cooking area. So we can have some smokers, some furnaces, some blast furnaces. We can even maybe end up with some stairs there on the top. It's a little cooking area. Then I want to separate this room as well. So we can bring in another beam and I'm thinking we can bring this one in. Let's actually put it up right up the middle like so. Let's take this one all the way up, texturing up along the way as well. And then over here, we can have another side room. So let's bring that down and let's put a stair right here. So we have a smaller room over here on this side as well. Now over here to separate this kitchen area, we can go with a beam right here on this section, give it a two spacer and a two spacer here, add a cauldron right there, and maybe just a stair sideways, just like that. For this side to cover this up, we can grab some trap doors and just cover this end up right there like so. On the top here, we can also get a little bit fancier, maybe put some archways just like that, and maybe a couple of trap doors underneath, just like so. We can also continue the theme here, maybe add a couple extra bits of detail like so, upside down stairs and trap doors. And don't forget the doors all over the place. We're gonna put a door here, door on this side, door over here, and then jumping up to the top, one more door right there. Oh, no, there. Now for this corner over here, let's go ahead and put a couple composters and some bushes on top. I'm going to add a small table over here with some upside down stairs, one on this side, one on this side. On top here, we can put a light and maybe even a flower pot, just like that. Then for this section, I'm going to do a small little dining room table. So I'm going to grab some dark oak. Let's put two stairs facing that way. And in the center, we can even add a scaffold. On top of the scaffold, we can add another flower, maybe with a plant on top. Also, maybe a small carpet right there for added detail. And what if we put a small painting also above it? We can even make the chairs look a little bit cooler by adding some trap doors like so. Extra paintings also never hurt anybody. One more over here would be perfect. And then over here, we can add a big one right there. If we wanted to break up the floor of the kitchen, we can go ahead and put some polished andesite and maybe some polished granite just like that. And then maybe another couple down here. So let's go with the polished and another one right there. Perfect. So we got a little separation in the kitchen. Don't forget to add a cake. Every kitchen needs a cake. For this section here, we can make this into almost like a little bit of a storage closet. So let's put some barrels on the top. We can actually double these up if you want and have a really big section over here. So something like this and then have your chest going up just like so. Let's see if we can. Hold on. I got to I got to break this. Okay. Hold on. And then we can have a big storage area right here, which is pretty awesome. Also, you know, this is a survival house. Why don't put a little crafting bench somewhere? Uh, we can just put it, um, I can sneak it in right there. Why not? Perfect. And why not? One more painting. For this section over here, if you guys wanted to make a basement, you could definitely do like a little spiral that takes you down right here in this corner. But for right now, you know, we can add a little bit extra storage, maybe a couple little extra bits over here. Uh, maybe uh, we could do a, even an ender chest right there that can open perfectly on this side. Uh, and then maybe just extra details. How about a couple more uh, barrels? We can go with some more chests over here. Uh, I just have different storages for different locations and have different stuff in each section. That's perfectly fine. And then up here, just to cover this up a little bit, maybe just some trap doors like that will look pretty good. So something super simple. Uh, even over here, we can maybe put an armor stand and you could just drop um, your best armor. Just like that. Ooh, netherite. Now this side looks like it needs a little something. So what do we put some couple upside down stairs over here, a couple flower pots, and let's fill those with some cool things right there. And you know what? Paintings. Paintings always look good. Now for up here, so many options. I'm gonna go with a little writing desk over here on this section. So what if, let's bring in a, a, a lovely old beehive. It looks like a little cabinet. Uh, let's put a bookshelf on this side. Let's get a lectern and let's drop this in the center. Then I'm gonna go with a chair. Let's go with a dark oak one right here and let's grab some trap doors. I'm gonna put two going up and then close those up. So we got a high chair right there. Then on this side, let's bring a lantern. Let's not take them off from the floor, put them down here. We can even hang it from the top as well to make it look a little bit cooler. And then put barrels one, two, and three up top, just like so. And then maybe over here, we can get a flower pot and put a flower on top there. Flower pot, mushroom, there we go. We got a nice little writing desk corner right here. Uh, for this side, we can do some more details. What if we make this into like a mini library area? So let's just pack some books going up like so. Maybe stack them up like that, that's fine. Uh, maybe we can even grab a chest and throw that on the side as well there. Take that lantern out, maybe hang this lantern though from the top. 
uh, and that looks pretty cool. Maybe even some sea pickles. I love this. It's a little added detail you can drop right there. We can even get some looms and replace some of these so they look like empty bookshelves. And I'm thinking maybe if we do one, let's do that corner one. That looks actually pretty good right there. Now over here in this corner, what if we set up a little bit of a brewing area? So let's grab our upside down stairs of dark oak. Let's take that all the way around into like a little L. I'm gonna actually maybe get rid of that back one and let's put our uh, cauldron right there hidden in the corner right here. And then we can bring in our brewing stands. Let's go one, two, and then one over here on this section. And then on this side, we can have like a little nether ward section. Grab some soul sand, go down one, two, and three. We can surround these in trap doors like so, and then put nether ward on the top. Then up here, we can just grab some barrels and just take those down one, two, and three. Uh, if we want here, we can just add a little bit more detail. What if we bring in a couple of these trap doors, uh, maybe another barrel on top, maybe another chest up here, just for added storage. Let's actually take that all the way uh, down to the end right there. And then up here, maybe we can add just an extra brewing stand, maybe a couple right there. Why not? And you know what? Paintings. And just to take advantage of this whole space, let's add like another chest right here in the corner. We can even come up here and add a couple more trap doors and then maybe bring in some barrels right there and then maybe on this corner uh let's add another light right there maybe another flower pot and then over here maybe just put a let's put a sapling right there now jumping here to the back we need a bedroom why not save this one right here for the back uh let's put a bed right here in this corner we can go really simple with the barrel sideways over here and then have another couple barrels there on the top for extra storage maybe a light here on the side over here on this corner, maybe we can add, we can add more beds if you want. Maybe you have more friends over, you know, you have another bed right here on the side, another uh, barrel sideways over here. Keep that like so. And then we can pack this area in. So we got space for two friends right there. There you go. Uh, then up here, guess what? Painting, that's right, that's perfect. Also, we can add a little bit of carpet here on the bottom. We can pretty much put anything. Let's just go with some light blue, one, two, and three. And we're good to go. And you know what? Let's add a little bit of carpet out here. Just random scattering of carpet. Why not? All right. And we're all done. But let's take a little bit of a closer look at all the details we were able to add to this area. But check this out. This is looking so good. So this was kind of like in a little dip down here. So I added some stairs going down here. Just with some slabs of cobble, some stone, some stone brick walls around the side here. Also a small crop field. Added some carrots. Added some wheat on that side. Some path here on the grounds as well. With some mossy, some stones, some cobble. This is looking so good i added some trees around here just to give a little bit more life to the area and i love how private this looks it looks so nice and tucked away inside uh this little valley right here this is looking awesome also added some bushes and some vines there to the top and then some more bushes and some extra details here at the bottom I added some berry bushes as well some more trees around the side little paths that go around here and this leads to a wandering trader hello but over here we have a small flower box and then a small mine entrance as well to get down here on the bottom. It's a perfect little tucked away spot for a mine. It goes nowhere right now, but it looks pretty cool, right? Hopefully you guys get a little bit of inspiration with the stuff you could do uh, to make your builds just stand out even more after you're done building them. But we're all done. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. This was so much fun to make this small fantasy style house here in this world. Let me know if you guys want to see more of this style. I'll be so, so happy to do some more. But I'm out of here for now. Thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. I'll catch you guys on the next Minecraft video. Goodbye.